Christmas video. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, not yet. This video is actually inspired by a topic that Adam had suggested I do on Twitter. He suggested I share any book or film that I'd like to see uh, made into a TV show. So what I'm gonna do instead is share five comic books that I'd love to see as TV shows. Starting with number one, Saga. Oh my God, if you haven't read Saga, you're missing out. I think it's my favorite comic book right now. And I think that if they made a TV show out of them, it would be really cool because I just love it so much. It's a fantasy type story that follows two lovers from different worlds that are at war, who get together and have a baby girl and now are hunted by the law because you're not supposed to get together because we're at war people, we don't like each other. Kind of like Romeo and Juliet in space a little bit, but a little more badass and crazy. And they, of course they don't kill themselves. I think it's one of the most imaginative stories. And I think what makes the comic book really cool is it's not just about them. There are so many characters, so many interesting personalities and, and well-defined and, they all look so different. I think um, that's one of the things I love the most is kind of all the different characters that we meet. There's like a prince robot and there's a lion cat. I mean, there's just so many cool things. I would love to see it as a TV show because I love reading it so much. I feel like it would be amazing. I mean, you get the art and the art I think also already helps in picturing what it would be like to see it on screen, but I think just seeing this kind of fantasy world come to life on a weekly basis, I would love that. Number two is Lock and Key. I think they tried to make a series out of this one a few years ago, didn't really, it didn't get picked up. But the story, oh my God. It's a family who moves into their a new house, key house, after the death of the father who was killed and his murderer come, comes into play also in the story later on. And when they get to the house, one of the kids finds this door that when he walks through it, he becomes a ghost. And they soon realize it's just one of those doors that exist. And there's so much more going on about, you know, the store, the history of the house and what's tied to it and what, you know, where the, the keys come from, where the doors come from. And it's really great. It's super dark though. I think for Lock and Key, I would probably like it if it was more of like a self-contained series. Maybe they knew like it was two seasons or you know, 20 episodes or 10 episodes or what, what, however long they feel like it needs to tell the story. Next one is also one of my favorite uh, comic book. It's called Sweet Tooth. If you haven't read it, amazing. They're all amazing, so you should read all of them. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where babies that were born have some animal features to them. So our main protagonist, Sweet Tooth, has some deer features. I think we can kind of see it here. He was very sheltered from the world by his dad. He was kind of kept away from everything. So when the story starts, his dad dies. And so he has to venture into the world for the first time. And we see through his eyes what the world looks like now. And, uh, you know, he meets people on the way, some good, some not so good. And there's um, more to it a little bit than that. Like he's on a quest to go somewhere and uh, it's pretty great. I feel like it's innovated those end of the world TV shows, but I just like the angle of like this little kid that's so innocent and has such a good heart, but also what it means that he looks the way he looks and why and what's going on. It's just really good story. I would love to watch unfold in front of me on a weekly basis or just like, for real, I think, I think it would just make a really cool story to follow. Next one is Fables. When it first started, I thought that's what Once Upon a Time was gonna be, you know, like a Fables kind of show, but even though the premise is sort of similar, it, they did something completely different from what Fables is. Um, so I would actually really love to see Fables come to life as a TV series. It's one of my favorite comic books and it's about fairy tales characters who have had to fled their world because of an adversary that has uh, 
you know, chased them away and kind of took over their world. So now they live in New York City in Fable Town. And it's a little bit like in, in Storybrook in Once Upon a Time where, you know, pe people can't really see Fable Town, even though it's in New York, they just don't notice it. Um, and so you kind of get a lot of different stories. I mean, they're a, it's a really long story. It's still, I think it just ended now. So it's been years that it's been ongoing. There are a lot of things that happened. Um, I didn't love the first volume that I read. I actually almost give up on it, but it gets so much better after that. Like, oh my God, these are some of the best stories I've ever read. So I would love to see it come to life. And I know, you know, we already have Once Upon a Time, but I'm like, I don't care. I love Once Upon a Time and I would totally watch Fables too because I feel like the stories of Fables are completely different from Once Upon a Time and smallest characters turn out to be some of the most powerful ones and it's just amazing. And if you like Once Upon a Time, then you should definitely read Fables because you would love it. And I think you would probably like the show. Last one is Morning Glories. Can you see it? It's about six gifted kids that go into this academy and you soon realize that it's not really what they thought, think it is. It has like secrets and mysteries and murder and time travel, sort of. It's crazy. Story weaves and all kinds of different places and I think it would make such a good TV show. Like every week you'd have like a big reveal and and then this happened and it's like, what? Um, so I think it'd be a really cool show. I would totally watch it, obviously. <laughs> So those are the comic books that I'd love to see as TV shows. Of course, I've mentioned if you haven't read those comic books and definitely read them, they're all fantastic. And I think they'd make really good TV shows. I think people would probably be really obsessed with every single one of them. And that's it. Um, I'd love to, of course, I'd love to hear if you've actually read any of those comic books, if you think they'd make good TV shows, and if you have any other comics that you'd love to see, you know, be made it to a TV show. Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe because we're having d daily videos until December 24th. So, you know, do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. <gasps> I rarely get to see this. Bye. Bonus, chew. It's about this detective who gets sort of like a uh, psychic impressions whenever he eats something, so. Uh, whether he eats like lettuce, he'll kind of get a feel for, you know, what the lettuce's life was like. And if he eats like chicken, he'll probably see, you know, what happened when the chicken died. So actually I think, I think he's a vegetarian actually, cause he can't deal with the fact like knowing everything that happens to everything he eats. So the plants are probably the most gentle <laughs> ones to eat for him. But because of his gift then, He's uh, put on a lot of weird cases where in order to help solve the cases, he sometimes has to eat a little bit of the corpse and stuff like that. It made me think a little bit about iZombie in the sense that in iZombie, when she eats the brain, she kind of gets memories from um, the corpse. This is a little bit different, but he also kind of gets that sense of, he pretty much eats anything and he'll get some sort of sense of of, of whatever he's eating. It's a cool comic book. I think it'd make a cool series. So there you go.